Hey everybody, 8 Josh here and welcome back to Full Throttle Remastered. Alright, so now we're trying to get... Uh, we need to get fuel. The, like, fork for our motorcycle. And Maureen's, uh, welding torch. So now, what we're doing, if you remember last time, we set off the alarm and it draws the cops in, so we're gonna be a little chicksty with them. Cops are gonna come investigate. I love the like spy music. Somebody set it off. Yes, come on down. Because what we're going to do is we're not going to actually take fuel from the tower, but we're going to actually siphon it from their little hover bike car thing. I don't even know what you call that. I don't see nobody. He must have run away. Yeah, we would have seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Let's go up and get him. <laughs> Suckers, I'm actually down here. Okay. So, now what we're gonna do... Actually, go away. Go away! The old gas cap here. Ben, you walk so slow. Seriously, dude. Okay, now we're going to take our fancy hose here, stick it right in there, take our fancy gas can, and you put it right there. Fan funny how all this fits right into our jacket, and we're going to siphon the gas out. Doesn't even look like it's actually going into the gas can, but whatever. It's him. Get him. Where? Over there. Quick. Now those those cops are really incompetent if they couldn't even go. see me run out. Let's call it quits, huh, boss? No. Yeah. Call you should call it quits. Just gonna go over here and hide behind this rock while these guys float away. Okay, so gonna bring the gas back to Maureen I really wish you could get like all three things at the same time and then just come back to her but look how oh, proud he is I got some gas once we get a welding torch and some new forks I can fix her up okay you heard the lady gotta get a fork uh Motorcycle fork thingy. Go faster. And we're gonna end the uh, her torch, which we're gonna get from this guy who definitely probably stole it. Now we already kicked in his door and searched around his trailer before. But we didn't actually knock, which draws him up here to answer the door. Hey, I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. Okay. I don't got time to waste on bums like you. Well, take that, y'all. So, now that he's nice and knocked out, we can go down to his secret little basement area where he's working on his art. But look at that, it's a torch. His sculptures are pretty freaky looking. Mm. There's that proud face again. That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. <laughs> just a pair of new forks and we're on the road. And we're gonna have to get those 
from the junkyard. So let's head there now. Actually, I think, yeah, we need to go get off the, we need to actually go back up here because I forgot to pick up this lock. We're gonna need that at the junkyard. So we'll make our way over to the junkyard. Double click for quick travel. And if you remember last episode, we tried to climb up this chain and instead it basically, we pulled on it and it opened the door. So we're just gonna put the lock on the door so we, that way we can climb up the chain. All right, and here we go, up the chain. Very slowly walk over to it. <laughs> I like the, like, spy music. Now there's a mean old dog in here. So let's go. have to actually like click on the car to go down there. There should just be an option to <laughs> go down there because we don't actually need to go to the car. But what we're gonna do, we have our Mr. Dog and we have that stake. So we're gonna have to trap him. So let's get Mr. T-Bone Stake here. Put it right here in this car. That's a vicious looking dog. Tell you what. Bon appetit, mud. All right. So we'll go over here. We're gonna have to go up into this crane. Quickly now. I have to show him climbing all the way to the top. Okay. Now, I'll just bring Mr. Magnet thingy down. Oh wait, no. Over here, bring Mr. Magnet thingy down. And turn it on. Boom. Now I'll just bring it back up. And we're done. Look at it, hanging way up there. It looks a lot higher up from this view than it did when we're actually in the crane, right? So we need to come back down here. Okay, let, let's go. Come over here and there's a junk pile right there, or a parts pile, I guess. And there we'll find our motorcycle fork. That kind of looks like it on the top there. But either way, now we have it. And now she can complete her bike. Yay! Nice forks. <laughs> oh, look at this. Got the eyebrow going this time. <laughs> well, that's it. Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish her up. Okay. I hate surprises. I love surprises. Right, here she comes. So what's the surprise? I want to see, I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. Wow, look how cool. Super shiny, metal looking. What? You're amazing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? <laughs> oh, just your average everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. Destroyer class. Are you serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you gonna try this thing out or not? Hell yeah! I'm gonna take it out for a spin right now. I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. <laughs> oh, look at that. Vroom, vroom. Aw, oh, set all the things on fire. <laughs> Did 
she didn't look too happy about that. Oh yeah, open road. Got our bike back. Oh, it's the cops. All right, look lively. He's a sneaky one. This time he ain't getting past us. Liam, no. Keep looking. So they must be looking for me. Well, I think uh, we can use the old alarm trick at the fuel tower again. So what we'll do, go ahead and get back over here. Oh, don't lick it. Just touch it. <laughs> that sounded dirty. <laughs> All right. You hear that? He's back at the gas tower. He's got a lot of nerve, that piece of trash. Let's get him. All units, follow me. Oh, Billy. So now that they all come, they think they got me. Uh-uh. Of course, it's not like it's not super obvious that I just like peeled away my motorcycle, but that's cool. We can overlook that. Hey, it's the gang. How about that? Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Found something, all right. Trouble? No. We're in it. Put my head in a basket, cause I'd had a... Oh, this doesn't look like... When she blow my gasket, I sure... Doesn't look like this is gonna end well. Till I head for the skies up above. It's a woman with wheels that I love. Yeah. Gotcha. Snapping photos. That was like one scary looking face. You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Uh oh. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. Is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. <laughs> She's a feisty one. I'll get her. No. Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Hmm. The right. rest of the family. Don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. I wonder who now that could be. Malcolm. How about one for the road? Corley? Oh, he was gonna hit him again while he was down. Corley. Man, he really is a bastard. Ben! Oh, he's looking pretty <laughs> rough. Burger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <laughs> <laughs> his flies down. Rip Burger did this to you. Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. If he wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben, sell it off the fire. We can't allow that. Start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans. Minivans. <laughs> Shudder. You gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <laughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah, and she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt the first car when she was four. Why? Could that be Mo? I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <laughs> diaper dynamo. Fine, she actually daughter. still goes by that, surprisingly. Fine Marine. But for Marine. different reasons. Uh, 
Uh oh. No. Oh, that Maureen, she's so smart. Ripburger's way ahead of me. I just hope Maureen can handle herself until I get there. I'm sure she can, but. Gun, I understand. Why do you bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Holy Who motors. does number two work for? <laughs> Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip, but I think that pile is. But bonus. please call me Brain. <sighs> yes, now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't hmm. you? Oh, man. There's Mo's shack, but I don't see the limo. All right. Well, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, it's definitely, the story is definitely picking up. We have to figure out, we know I maybe I didn't. Rip Burger uh, killed Morley, so we're going to have to figure out how to uh, make sure he gets his comeuppance. So uh, be sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. And with that, I'm Ape Josh, and thanks for watching. See ya.